These are the best keybinds and best sense in Fortnite Season 3 to improve as fast as possible. And the first thing which you should do 100% guys is try to find a sense which actually matches exactly everything which we need guys. What I'm trying to say is that we should try to find a sense which is perfect for competitive. For me guys here it's 6.7% on X and Y and anything between 5 to 8% on A10 DPI is the perfect sweet spot. If you're playing competitive probably most of your favorite Fortnite pros are using a sense very very similar to that one so therefore give it a try guys. What I'm really trying to say is 5.8% on A10 DPI is really the sweet spot. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you're trying to actually free up your left hand as much as possible because this one already does all the movement, it does all the crouching, it does all the jumping, it does all of the editing and all that stuff guys, even weapon binds. So therefore you're trying to free up this one as much as possible. This is where you should actually utilize mouse side buttons. You can see it, most of the most mechanical players in Fortnite on also like the best W keys are all utilizing their mouse side buttons. This is simply due to the reason because you can free up those hands and focus more on peace control or whatever you guys want to do. And this is exactly guys where I got my wall on mouse side button 2, my floor on Q because it's still close to W, A, S and D, my stairs on mouse side button 1 and my roof on C. Also keep in mind you're trying to have your keybinds as close as possible to your movement keys so you don't have to travel a lot on your keyboard and also try to go for horizontal ones and not vertical ones because it's naturally a lot easier for us to go horizontal. This is also where my editing bind is actually E. And once you applied all of these keybinds guys you're going to notice that you're going to become a lot faster when it comes down to editing in Fortnite everything will become a lot smoother and faster so therefore this is exactly what you want to achieve with those keybinds. I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now on screen.